Just really quickly, I just want to show you a little trick that I utilize to speed up my beveled opinion shimming. This will help if you're a bit of a, a perfectionist and you really like to have a really healthy sounding blaster or airsoft replica. The good thing about the two airsoft and gel blasters is they're pretty much very similar in operation. There's very subtle differences between the two. I mean, we've got the projectiles, they're slightly different. The gel blaster gearboxes tend to have a little bit more tap of travel due to the larger projectile. But overall, they function the same. So a lot of the things that carry over from airsoft can be used in gel blasting and gel blasting to airsoft when you're looking at the AEG style gearboxes. So I just want to show you a quick little trick that I use. If you are spending a lot of time trying to perfect your beveled pinion shimming, then this may help. Everyone has their own way of doing this. This is, this is just what I do and hopefully it's going to help someone out there. Now the good news is I have been talking with Perrin or Perun, however you like to say it. They are sending me one of their Perrin B2 hybrid MOSFETs. I should have that in the next, say two weeks, let's say two weeks. Once I get that, that MOSFET will be going into this gearbox and I'll do a bit of a review of that and the install and everything that I do. And if I come across any problems, but from the looks, of that MOSFET it looks to perform very well so I'm quite excited. Anyway we'll get into this little uh, trick. What I'll do is I'll quickly just show you some of my personal uh, gel blasters where I haven't spent a lot of time on the beveled opinion shimming and then you'll be able to see the difference compared to the ones where I have spent a lot of time perfecting that, that beveled opinion shimming and the height and all the clearances and you'll be able to see, well, you'll be able to hear the difference between the two. So anyway, here we go. That was the old way I used to do it. Now, what I do to speed it up a little bit is I do not attach the grip to the gearbox with the screws. This is just your basic testing of clearances. All I do, take the grip, take the motor, just drop the motor into the grip, drop the base plate, like so. Now the bevel gear already has the correct amount of shims. All I'm doing is making sure that the clearances between the pinion and the bevel gear are satisfactory. I've already set the motor height. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drop that onto the gearbox, push them together. So basically I just apply pressure from both directions. And then I just take my little screwdriver or whatever tool I'm using. Uh, and then I do my little clearance checks you do you do your normal clearance checks that you would as if you had attached the grip check those clearances check the play make sure you're happy with it if you're not and you need to make some sort of changes it's as simple as dropping the grip off with the motor undoing the couple of screws that you may have holding the gearbox together make your shim adjustments and then go back, take your motor and grip, push them back together, check again, 
Okay, so you are happy with how it's looking, you're happy with the clearances now, everything looks to be okay. Now is when I would assemble it correctly and do a final check. Now I find this trick saves me a lot of time, I'm not assembling and uh, disassembling the gearbox, I'm not uh, reattaching and unattaching the grip, it does save a lot of time. And because I put the MOSFET in last, that's what I do with all my builds, MOSFET goes in last. I don't have any of the wires in the way, I don't need to worry about any of the wires, it's very simple. Push them together, do your checks, make sure you're happy with how the clearances are, the play. Pull it apart, put it, or assemble it correctly and do a final check and I find that that always saves me a lot of time and I have had no issues doing it that way. Now I know everyone does it their own way, some people might not like this, well you know what, too bad, you do it your way, this might help somebody else, so I find it saves me a lot of time. Now, a lot, now that I'm happy with how it's all sitting, I can just put it together. The one thing I normally would do once the replica or the gel blaster is assembled 100%, it's all complete, it's ready to go, is I'll take a little bit of super glue and the grub screw or the adjustment screw on the bottom of the grip, I'll just put a couple of drops of super glue just to make sure that when the replica or the gel blaster is cycling, that the vibration is not going to loosen that, that adjustment screw at the bottom of the grip. Very basic, I'm hoping that's going to help someone, somebody. And the next video I'll have will I'll have the Perrin V2 hybrid. Gonna throw that straight in. Hopefully a week or two after that. We'll have those tapperless cylinder heads and boom, away we'll go. Look, everyone likes to do shimming slightly differently. People have their uh, preferred ways of doing shimming. And I guess in my opinion there's no right or wrong way of doing it. If the gearbox sounds healthy, if there's good meshing between all the gears, then it doesn't really matter what way you do it. How I like to do it is, I'll do the overall shimming of the gearbox, get the correct amount of gears, sorry, shims. Then I will do the motor height, and then I will do the beveled opinion shimming, and then I'll go ahead and do the spur gear and the sector gear afterwards. And that's just like my preferred way of doing it. I find that works best for me. Anyway, I did see a good trick. And I believe it was from the Real Deal Airsoft. I think he's got a YouTube channel. I'm pretty confident I've seen it on his channel. Where once you've done all your clearances, you take all the gears and you put them on the other side of the gearbox. And then from there, you can get an even better view of the clearances between the gears. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to have a nose and see how well that works.